With so many baits on the market, it can be difficult to choose the right one for different water clarities. From dirty water to clear water, we're about to break it all down. Being able to read watercolor is super important when trying to locate fish. Different degrees of water clarities will be able to indicate how deep you should be fishing. Generally, bass will be shallower in muddy water, but they'll be deeper in semi-clear to clear water. This is due to light penetration. Bass will swim to different depths of the pond throughout the day to reach their desired level of light. Light will penetrate less in dirty water and more in clear water. And when you're fishing a pond like this that's kind of chocolate milk colored, you want to hit the shallows all day. On this muddy pond, we're going to be mainly throwing this jig right here. This is my confidence bait, and I know we're going to catch him. Something just hit top water right there. And there's one. Oh my gosh, about yanked him out of the water. <laughs> There's his lateral line right there, that little black line. That's what these bass use to pick up these vibrations in the water. Bass can't see as well in this muddy water. When you're choosing a bait, think wild, crazy action. Baits with loud rattles, lots of vibration, and contrasting colors. Some of the baits I like to throw in muddy water conditions. This first one here is a War Eagle spinner bait with this red kicker blade for added visibility. The second one is a Norman Fatboy crankbait. It's got an erratic hunt to it and a loud rattle. And also a half ounce Booyah Boo jig with a Christy Critter trailer. Now all I'm doing here with this half ounce Booyah Boo jig, just slowly bringing my rod tip up, and just dragging that slowly on the bottom, letting that trailer do all the work and put all that vibration out. <laughs> takes my breath away. I feel that little thump. I don't know if it's ground or if it's the fish. Now, if you find a piece of cover like this, don't be afraid to throw at it three or four times. You know, sometimes it takes those bass multiple casts to actually locate the bait. All right, guys, I think we've pretty much hammered out this pond. We're gonna go check out another pond that's got some uh, clear water in it and see if we can't catch a few there. Let's talk clear water baits. Now, these clear water fish are gonna primarily be sight feeders, so you're gonna want your bait to look as realistic as possible. Bass are going to primarily feed on bluegill, crawfish, perch, minnows, pretty much anything that swims by them. Colors that imitate these the best are earthy colors like green pumpkin, orange, gray, or blue. You can't go wrong with throwing a yum dinger. That's one of my all-time favorite baits. I also like to have a rebel track down, just a little jerk bait on hand at all times, and also a bandit 100, just a stealthy little crank bait. Oh, got him. Whew. Well, I tell you, this yum dinger never lets me down, no matter where I'm at. <laughs> oh, that's a nice one. You know, when it gets late in the day like this, this is when I like to come back and fish the shallower parts of these clear water ponds. A lot of times they'll move out deeper in the middle of the day because it's a little darker down there, but once this low light condition comes back in, they'll move back up shallow and you can catch some nice ones. Ooh, it's fast too. They're angry. Oh, this thing is moving. <laughs> He's a fast swimmer.
clear water or dirty water. There are night and day differences between the two, but still tons of ways to catch fish. Hey everyone, thanks for watching. Make sure to give the video a thumbs up, subscribe to our YouTube channel, and let me know in the comments below what's a good tip for fishing clear or dirty water.